Hi, I'm Matt Johnson, Director of Athletics here at the University of Minnesota Morris. Brian Herman, our Vice Chancellor of Finance and Facilities, and myself are gonna lead you on a tour of campus and all our new improvements. Let's go. Here you have the Humanities Building. So we're very excited about the renovation that we've been able to accomplish on this building. We've done this building in a couple phases. The first phase was to do the heating and air conditioning. And so what we were able to do was we put in a really, really neat heating system. It's called a chilled beam system, and it does heating and cooling through that chilled beam system. And then the second phase, we did the classroom renovation. We put in very, very flexible spaces. Throughout this building, you'll see we've added furniture uh, in the hallways. We were able to enhance the technology in these spaces by adding the ability for faculty and staff to connect uh, and for students in the space to be able to connect to multiple screens in the classroom and be able to move throughout the space. There are also Zoom rooms. It has created a, the ability for us to have a standard for campus, for us to be able to have a faculty, staff, students instructing in the space, but also connect from a distance. So our presentation lounge space, uh, we've opened that up. There is furniture that's movable, so students can be in there studying. Faculty members could be in there grabbing a bite to eat, working with other students, collaborating with other faculty members. And it's also a space for students to be able to have, to zoom something in or to be able to use the media. We've created a space in the, in the, in the top floor of this building that's kind of more like a gallery setting. Our Humanities Building is one of the most heavily used classroom spaces on our campus. Uh, the classroom sizes are perfect for our, for our campus and it creates that time for faculty to engage in small classes. And now with this space, we're able to really truly have a HVAC system that supports the work that we want to do, but then also a classroom space that creates and supports the pedagogy of the facility. Welcome to Big Cat Stadium, home of Cougar football. Originally built in 2006 to house the Cougars and the Tigers from the local high school, the stadium hasn't seen a whole lot of upgrades until recently. Just this summer, we installed new state-of-the-art sprint field turf, and we couldn't be happier about the product. We've also had worked on the bleachers and made some adjustments there too for water and drainage. This home of Cougar football is something that we are incredibly proud of on campus and is really going to resonate with our alumni, with our fans, and with our student athletes. Welcome to the Edward J. and Helen Jane Morrison Performing Arts Center. So this is the grand foyer of the Morrison Performing Arts Center. It is created within the Student Center and around Edson Auditorium. The Morrison Performing Arts Center encapsulates that space and creates an opportunity for us to really have the interactions outside of Edson Auditorium that we always wanted to have. With the newly renovated auditorium behind there, we've actually created a marquee in this grand foyer where people are able to, as they exit, congregate and discuss and talk about the speaker that they just saw or the music that they just saw or, or create those connections that, they, that we hope to have in this wonderful space. As you can see, we took out some of the spaces in the grand foyer that look down to the basement and have replaced them with glass uh, that is able to be sat on, walked on, this creates a wonderful space, more of a living room for the student center. So instead of it just being a hallway and you leave the space, now you have a wonderful space for people to congregate, collaborate, and talk. We also have a much more welcoming space. And as you can see, we have a display where people are able to see what is happening on the stage while the production is happening. That's been a wonderful addition for people if they need to step into a show or need to step out, they can see what's happening. Or for overflow, it creates the opportunity for us to stream it into a different room. This enhancement to the Student Center has, 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 has created an opportunity for us to connect Higby's Coffee Shop that was added several years ago with the Grand Foyer so we create an experience for people who are here visiting our campus and for people who are here to see an event. Welcome to the Dakota Deck. The concourse level of the Cougar Sports Center is used for any number of items and brings hundreds and thousands in some cases of people across this area. Dakota Bank, a proud partner of Cougar Athletics and a banking firm in the upper Midwest, has long supported us and we can't be more excited about this space. 
Welcome to the Eco Station, one of the most recent additions to our campus. It is 140 acres and it is situated north of Ashby, Minnesota. This land has native prairie, it has restored prairie, old growth oak trees, and it has some land that actually is in current agricultural production. So it's a perfect research space to be able for our faculty, staff, students to learn about how land, water, animals, insects, and plants all come together in this unique, unique ecosystem and this place at the Eco Station. We've had students every summer working on projects there, um, involved in from earthworms to prairie grass collection to uh, documenting the trees and documenting the water. We have lots of plans for this future facility. We hope to grow and put some, put some infrastructure there for us to be able to have a place for students and staff um, who are there working to be able to collect samples and to do some instruction. We've had students who've been working on projects there and it really truly has set their direction in where they want to take their career after they've had an opportunity to work on projects there. Welcome to the enhanced entrance outside the Regional Fitness Center and the Cougar Sports Center. As many of us know, the PE Center existed for many years, but as we look to rebrand Cougar Athletics, part of it was renaming this very important building. The Cougar Sports Center was renamed in the fall of 2018, and the branding and the signage followed last year. The signage was a great collaborative effort, but the vast majority of it came on funding from our corporate sponsorship with Coca-Cola. It brings an awesome entrance into the Regional Fitness Center and also Cougar Athletics. We couldn't be more excited about this. On this stop, we're gonna get a chance to see the Blakely remodel. This project was done in a couple phases. So the first phase was to add an elevator to this building. So this building is now 100% accessible on every floor. You're able to get in the elevator on the bottom level and on this main level off of the street side. The other major enhancement to this building is we've created a, a very unique and wonderful space for our education department. This has allowed us to be able to enhance that space and to create the facilities that matches the quality of education that our education department is providing. There are three classrooms in the basement and a curriculum study space. The 40 person classroom that was created in here creates a space for faculty to truly move around and have discussions with students, but for also for students who are entering the program, either our secondary education program or elementary education program, to be able to take some of their intro level classes and to be able to create that opportunity for them to engage with our faculty members. The conference room uh, space is an opportunity for students to collaborate in some of those small group discussions and small presentations that faculty have with students as they come back from practicum experiences or student teaching. The other classroom space you'll see here is about a 30 person classroom space and this again it creates an opportunity with technology that allows faculty to both teach from any space within the build in the classroom. They can grab the laptop and move around the classroom. They also have the opportunity to zoom somebody in from a distance. We're really excited for you to be able to stop by and see the Blakely remodel um, and it's been an excellent addition to our education program. The newest enhancement for Cougar Athletics is right here, our new varsity softball fields. We're in progress, as you can tell, of constructing two new diamonds, a new press box with bathrooms and a concession stand. This is a great community partnership project centered around ourselves at the University of Minnesota Morris, the Morris Area School District, and Morris Area Community Education. There's also plans in the near future for the addition of a third field and parking. But for the time being, these two new fields are going to be an amazing impact to Cougar Athletics, and we couldn't be more excited about this partnership that continues to grow for us. And welcome to our stop on our new 240 kW solar array. As you can see behind me, this is uh, the recent addition to our renewable energy platform here on the campus. The partnership between Ottertail Power and the University of Minnesota Morris created this opportunity for the 240 kW solar array that has been mounted extra high so that we can provide shade for cattle to graze underneath here. The addition of this solar array in combination with our already existing assets has created the opportunity for us to be carbon neutral on the electricity side. This demonstration platform is, is builds on that experience that we've had as a campus over the last 10 years as we've been working towards carbon neutrality. 
What you will see here is this, along with all of our other research, is part of the Morris model. The Morris model is to be able to demonstrate for small cities, to be able to demonstrate how we can utilize renewable energy, how we can use our assets around composting, and how we can work together to educate and teach people how we can help make a better impact on the environment around us. And so we've been looking at transportation, we've been looking at energy, we've been looking at saving energy, and so we've done several other projects as well with, as a solar project to be able to reduce our energy footprint and our energy demands on campus. We've worked really closely with student projects to be able to understand our energy loads and where they are and how we can manage those loads. And so the, adding the solar fits really well into this pack, into this platform in the fact that a lot of our demand for power is on days when it's really hot and it's really sunny. Welcome to the stop on our tour um, for you to be able to get a chance to see this wonderful sculpture that was created by Dwayne Goodwin, who's an artist, a Minnesota artist. Uh, it is, he carved this on campus. So the sculpture is called Grandmother Water Woman, and it is in the likeness of his grandmother. Uh, and he talked about how important this space was and how important that this opportunity to create a sculpture to demonstrate the history of this place and to be able to demonstrate how important this campus was to that history. This project was a gift from Punky and Mary Hepner, and in this collaboration and in the, in the construction of this sculpture, uh, as Dewey describes this project as the opportunity to show the impact that the boarding school era had on families. And so you can see from this sculpture, there's one student who's looking forward and one student who's looking backwards. So the, the boy on the right has a traditional boarding school uniform and the, the girl on the, on the right is looking back um, and is, as you can see, holding on to her grandmother. Uh, this is a very, very powerful sculpture and it was a wonderful opportunity for us to get um, our students and faculty and staff and community members to learn and to talk and to meet with the sculptor as he was doing this in, on campus in person. Uh, we were able to also create a video cam for students to, and faculty, staff, visitors, everybody across the world to be able to watch as it was constructed. Uh, and so this was an amazing opportunity and project and we are ever so grateful for, to the Hepners for their contributions and to Dewey for his vision and his creation of this very powerful sculpture. <laughs>